Hello, I'm James Whitehorn, Chief of the Redistricting and Voting Rights Data Office at the U.S. Census Bureau. And I'm Nicholas Jones, Senior Advisor on Race, Ethnicity, Research and Outreach at the U.S. Census Bureau. And we're here to answer some of the most common questions about the next 2020 Census data release. These data are used for redistricting. What is redistricting? Redistricting is the process in which all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico redraw the boundaries of congressional, state, legislative, and many other types of districts. Most use census data to do this. What statistics are included in the redistricting data? The redistricting data provide population counts as well as demographic characteristics of ethnicity, race, and voting age at all levels of geography, down to the block level. While the primary purpose of these data is for states to redraw their districts, these statistics will also tell us how many people live in each county, in each city, and in each block. We'll also have the first 2020 census national and local statistics on things like voting age population, race, Hispanic origin, whether homes are occupied or vacant, and how many people are living in group quarters. This information will provide a more detailed demographic portrait of our nation's population for all communities all across the United States. When are you releasing the results? In order to provide these critical data to all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico as soon as possible, we're providing data in two releases. It's the same data, just in different formats. The first release will be in August. We'll provide data in what we call a legacy format, the method we've used for decades. This is meant for experienced data users who are familiar with working with large data sets. We'll post these large files on our FTP site. That format should work for most states to start their redistricting efforts, and for other data users who are familiar with working with databases to make it easier for everyone else, we'll also have additional materials to help you pull out the highlights for the nation and for your state. Then in September, we'll release the exact same data, but in far more user-friendly formats that people are familiar with and that allow for easier searching. We'll officially send the redistricting data via DVDs and flash drives to state officials with toolkits and software that help them to easily view and extract the data they need. At the same time, data will also be made available on data.census.gov, our publicly available data search engine. Why does it take so much time for the Census Bureau to release the redistricting information? We have to take the time to get it right. The 2020 census showed that our nation's population has increased to more than 330 million people since the 2010 census. Because of the sheer volume and complexity of data we need to provide, it takes time for us to calculate, review, and tabulate the information. So it is released a few months after the apportionment counts, which tell us only how many people live in the country in total and how many people live in each state. In addition to crunching the numbers, we also have to protect everyone's information and ensure individuals can't be identified. We'll have more detailed demographic statistics from the 2020 census available after the redistricting data are released.